During a female's lifespan, the breast definitely undergo changes. So at a very young age, in, during the puberty years, that's when the breast tissue is very dense. That's before the uh, ovaries are producing any or maybe small, small amounts of estrogen hormone. So as they then get into the late teens and start having active menstrual cycles and so forth, then the breasts undergo lots of changes because then you have more development of the, of the ductal system and what are called the lobules and so on of the breast. And then of course, as they continue in their seven, you know, the late teens into their 20s and so on, with the hormone levels being higher, the breasts undergo changes for possible pregnancy, possible breastfeeding. So that's when the estrogens again play a major role to develop the ductal system, the lobules and so on during that part of that lady's life. So, so then they're in the phase of the, like the premenopausal time of their lifespan. Breasts undergoing a lot of changes, pregnancy causes a lot of changes. Then as they get older toward, you know, 50s, whatever, when they start getting into the perimenopausal period and then go through menopause, further changes occur because now the estrogen levels start to fall. So then what happens is the breast um, actually become more fatty replaced and you can see it on, on mammography all the time where a lady in her let's say the early 40s, you look at that mammogram and then you look at it when she's 65, you can see it, you can see it on physical examination, it leads to potential sagging of the breast and so on because um, when the hormone levels continue to drop with menopause, it causes lots of other changes. And the main thing is the fatty replacement of that breast tissue.